Can't see the stool. Hey, Hello. family. Um, <laughs> hi, this is Alan Aisha Laws again with you. Um, Facebook Live. That's good. And tilt it, uh, <laughs> tilt it a little bit more towards me, a little bit. Alan Aisha Laws, Advice for Life, Facebook Live. It's so good to have you. Um, as you know, we come to you every Tuesday at 830 to discuss um, improving your relationships. Yes. Um, now, you know, some of you have not been with us before. We, what we do is there's a gathering of us, hundreds of people who are coming together and giving comments. I see the hearts. I see the thumbs. For some reason, um, face, there must be a lot of people on Facebook Live because it wouldn't come up when we tried to come up at 8.30. Um, but all of us gather together um, as a family um, and as people who are coming in who care about relationship. <laughs> and my wife is even having it on hers. <laughs> so my wife, Sorry, my y'all. Wife, my wife come, comes up on hers, too. <laughs> so we're actually talking about uh, giving you skills, concrete skills to help you be better at relationship. Look, there's a lot of stuff on Facebook and other places that are just talking about things that really don't improve you. Right. I mean, they might, you know, they, they, some of them have a little funny to them, but a lot of it is nonsense. So you, you can guarantee when you get on this program, you're going to get meat. You're going to get uh, real information, real things that you can practically use in your life. So as my, as my family is coming on, my, I'll let the people who are new know our format, what we usually do is we, um, I introduce the program and the process. Um, and then we come back and we start talking to all the people who are online with us yes. and give them an opportunity to give them our wisdom and our feedback. And so that's what's really powerful, because when we hear from the wisdom that is around us, um, it is a very powerful thing. And, and, and so those those folks who are on with us, they're exchanging, they're giving information back and forth. Now, look, a lot of you are listening to us. I know that. How do I know that? I know that. Because when I get to the end of the show, it tells me how many people were viewing. Wow. So last week, when I got to the end of viewing, there were 380 people who wow. were viewing on the program. Now, at the, the time we were on. At the, at the time that we were on. It was oh. 380 people. So what that means is that a lot of people are listening and they're not saying hello. Now, I'm not going to say that's not um, that's not polite, but <laughs> <laughs> they call well, they, some people it's use all that, right. people use that expression uh, dry snitching. You ever heard that term? No, never dry heard snitch, that meaning you told you told something on somebody, but you did it in a way that was kind of like underground. And, you know, you, you try to say it with hints and, uh, and things like that. So, shade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shade. Shade, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, a new word. Shade. <laughs> I'm, I, I'll catch it. <laughs> but but some people be dry looking at this program. <laughs> Y'all be dry looking. You be peeping at I because I know there was there's one individual that I know I'm associated with. And every time she tells me she's looking, I said, Well, I never see you on the program. She said, I know. I, I said, just say hello. But I'm looking, I'm looking. So those of you who are there, if you're looking, just say hello. Just say what's up. Just say I like what you're doing. Encourage us to, that, that this is important to you. Let us know that you value what we're doing. And then share it. Share, share, because it's fair. It's fair. <laughs> it's only fair because you're not getting, you're not charged for this. There's no expectation other, that you, other than that you participate in the process. And part of the way you participate is by giving comments, giving your wisdom, giving feedback, and then going down to the right, left-hand corner of your device, your phone or your iPad, and hit that square that says share. If you hit that button right now, share, all the people that you know, all the people that you're connected with will get an, get an alert and they'll come up on their phone or their iPad and let them know that you you got this program you want them to listen to. So I want you to do that. Share, share is, a, is fair. Go to that left-hand corner at the bottom and hit share right now. And also, as you're listening to the program, when we get done, when we get done with the program, wait about, you know, wait about a half hour, an hour, and just start sharing the program. And then do it again the next day. And then maybe... Two days later, do it the next day. Keep sharing the program. I've got like really short of my 50 shares. 
I'm really trying wow. to get to 100, but I was right there at 50 shares. <laughs> I think I was right at like 48 shares. So I need more shares because guess what? If all the people who are listening to the program right now and on a regular basis, if all of you, that's how kind of I'm, I'm getting on you, my regulars. If all of you shared the program through, you know, on, on your own, just the people who are listening and participating, and then you reshared it, I would easily have 100 shares that way. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to encourage you, keep sharing the program. That's how we get the word out. That's how you can support what we're doing. Um, the other other thing you have to recognize is that when you share, more people get access. So this week, oh. sweetie, we had over a thousand people wow. who view the program. Thank y'all. <laughs> so, That's so, awesome. so thank you for everybody who who did share. Thank you for everyone who is helping to get the word out. I just want you to know that you can always, if you don't listen to the program, you can always get it later on because sometimes it's a schedule conflict. Right. So you can also look at the program later and you can also listen to all our past programs. Right. So we have uh, close to 90 programs that we've done that you can listen to both um, those who that have aired on the radio and those that have just aired on Facebook Live. But you can be blessed. You will learn skills about relationship, how to relate to the person that you're with, how to relate to your children, how to relate to your, your colleagues at work, how to relate to the boss that gets on your nerves. Right. I mean, you, I'm talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> how it will teach you concrete ways and skills and insights and mindsets for you to improve your relationship skills. So you can go on www.advice4life.us. That's advice4life.us. Go to that, um, that website, go to the podcast tab, hit podcast, and you have access to all the shows. We also have, which most of you know, that we have a Sunday radio program at 9 right. a.m. And that is our Advice for Life program that airs on iHeartRadio, Heaven 600, every Sunday at 9 a.m. Yes. Now, what's a blessing, the news is, I want to give everybody the news, the thumbs up. I know you want to hear the news, the hearts. We are now also being broadcast on Tuesday evenings at 830 Wow. On the radio. Wow. On iHeartRadio. So if you turned on I if you downloaded the iHeartRadio app right now and went to Gospel and then Heaven Six Hundred, you would be hearing not this program, but the program from where? Last week. Oh. Okay. So you would be hearing last week's program. So our our program from Sunday is now being aired on iHeartRadio. 8.30 every Tuesday evening. And wow. what's so much of a blessing of that is that now the people in California, and I, I'm hoping I need somebody, I'm going to give a prize to the first person <laughs> who really, you got to have a California address too. The first person <laughs> who's from California who gives me, who comes in and lets me know here and, 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 and leads in and says, I, this, I'm from California. I'm going to, I'm going to get to you, get your address and I'm going to give you a prize. So now, so I'm trying to get my California folks. Oh, in. I see thumbs up. Yeah. Not nice. <laughs> nice. So we have, we have, a, we have now the people in California will now be seeing or listening to right. our iHeartRadio broadcast at 5.30 their time. Five That's 8.30 our time. Mm -hmm. Three hours later. So 5.30 p.m. P.m. Yes. Nice. Yes, 5.30 p.m. So That's on the way to, to your house, on your way, way home. On the way from work. <laughs> on your so way from work. On the way to church, it's on the way from work. <laughs> right. That's what I want to, we don't change it. <laughs> Greg, we have to say, on the way from church and on the way from work. <laughs> uh -huh. so, so that's a great thing that's happening. That's exciting for us. And, of course, the people in California can still look at this program, Facebook Live, at 8.30 but it'll, um, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it'll be 5.30 their time. their time. Right. And so you'll be tossed. Like, should I listen to the iHeart Radio Show? Should I listen to the Facebook Live? Go, you can get it on You can get it on the podcast. Go ahead and listen to the Facebook Live. <laughs> and, and then the racks. And then, and then you can go back in, in, on the website, um, advice, um, www.advice, the number four, life.us, 
and you can listen to the podcast. So I know I've said a lot and I want to get into our show, but as I um, as I as I, I want to introduce it and then I'm going to um, look at our folks that are with us. Um, look, we did an exciting show last week. And as you, a lot of you know, my wife just goes deep and she she amazes me how deep she begins to go. And so she went, we were just having um, a, a, a staff meeting and we were just talking about some things about self-development. And my wife started coming up with these words, this concept about how our response and how we respond within ourself um, that we have this way, and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use her words because I want her to use them, that we have this way of imposing how we see it and how, what our expectation is and what we, how we think it should be. And we tend to put that on the other person so that, because we believe that it's right. And of course the scriptures say that every man believes that what he does Right. seems to be right. So it says every man, every man's action seems to be right to himself, but the end of that way is death. Right. Now death doesn't mean necessarily mean you're going to drop over dead because you think your way is right. What happens is when you are focused on it being your way, what happens is that you deteriorate in your ability to have mature, long lasting relationship. Exactly. You, you lose some spiritual life when you focus just on your way and the way you see it. And the other scripture that I had was um, that we have this treasure in earthen vessels mm -hmm. that the surpassing greatness of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. Yeah. And so when we learn how to be able to respond to what other people need and to love them the way they need to be loved and to and to respond to them in a way that is that has mature communication behind it so that you can give them what they need in order for them to be successful in a love relationship then that that that's that's going to get that's going to allow the treasure that's inside of you that God has given to create power so yes. that your relationship will be blessed I love that that was amazing <laughs> The thing that I shared was um, that what is freeing to us, what is freedom to us or to anyone, um, could very well be jail to another. So it's freedom to me, jail to you. <laughs> what is, um, I'll give an example, uh, football. Very good example. <laughs> okay. Some people... Um, they look forward to football. It's like their day where they're free to be fanatical. They are free to um, scream at the television, throw temper tantrums if their team doesn't win. They're free to another person in that family, to the wife, the girlfriend, or someone who doesn't like football, because I'm the wife and I like football, football a lot. But to someone else, it would be like a chaotic, very loud prison. They don't want to be there. Right. They're trapped. Not fun. Shopping is another one. <laughs> yeah. Fun, I freeing. Like like shopping, you, do. Uh, you do. You do. <laughs> shopping is another one. I mean, we can go even to um, being a very reflective personality. There are, that's a, uh, a character trait. Right. It's freeing to that person to have time alone and, you know, be reflective. But in order to get that, you are actually shutting someone else out of what's freeing to you. You're, you're flipping right. it. Right. So now they don't have you anymore. You're absent. Hmm. And that's prison to them. Right. So, I mean, we really have to look at the responsibilities that come along with love. There is a responsibility that comes along with love. Right. And that means that it can't just be us right. that we're looking at. It has to be the other person as well. I mean, actually, I mean, really, as you're saying, the, the, the scriptures talk about the fact that we should esteem others higher than ourselves. Absolutely. And so what happens, I believe, in those dynamics is that, and I love the way you said it yesterday too, 
was when you're talking about wanting people to understand, yes. you know, your heart and wanting people to love you and wanting people to give you what you need. Like we're all saying those same things in our mm -hmm. hearts and in our minds. Mm -hmm. Like we're all asking for that from one way or the other. But when it gets down to the fact is that in order for you to get and to receive that, you must give. Mm -hmm. You give and then you shall receive. Absolutely. And so we have to be in a posture where we recognize that I may, I may be very happy and feel loved when a person does X, Y, and Z. And when I see them doing something, I'm trying to correct it. I'm judging what they're doing. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fix it. Because if they just would listen to me and do it my way, we, we, everything, our relationship would be great. That's right. Well, at least this part would be great. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I feel that way. Uh, I mean, about time, y'all. We already had this conversation. Come on, bring it out. And time, to me, is precious. It makes me feel free if I treat my time properly because I know I only have five seconds in this earth, and that's how I process it. I got five seconds left. And if I treat this time properly, I'm going to be happy in this time. And if someone's in my space not treating their time Lord properly, Jesus. <laughs> this I can be like, oh, yeah. right? So I have to make myself mm. understand that everybody's not looking at time that way. For others, it could be their creativity. Right. That's right. Right? Right. Like uh, me. Yeah, if I if I squelch your creativity and make it so at this hour you have to do this, at this hour right. you have to do that, at this hour you're gonna be in jail. I, I'm in jail. You're in jail. I mean, she 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 will take her clothes out <laughs> a day or two before, or sometimes she'll line up outfits that she thinks she's gonna wear. That would drive me crazy. I'd be in jail. I like I like to get up in the morning mm -hmm. and feel what I'm feeling and to put on. What, what I feel for that day. And right. I, it's a creative process. Um, I, my wife knows I'll go into certain spaces. Like I, I decorate my office at work and, and my staff is looking at me crazy because I'm walking around <laughs> with all these paint colors and pal And I just sit there in a the space and I'm for feeling days, like some of them laughing. They stay for, days. <laughs> for days, weeks, weeks, right. I'm weeks and <laughs> True story. <laughs> right, right, Greg Sunshine. True story. <laughs> True story. So, so I be, I be, I'll be there, and they be wondering. I have different calls. They, they can't figure out what I'm doing, what I'm going to do. But I'm having fun because I'm in my element. If you came in and just tell me, okay, you got these two colors to choose from, and you know these are only two carpets available, I'm done. Like I, I'm in jail. Like I don't understand because I'm always thinking there's always a creative possibility. <laughs> And, and and I do that with almost everything. I know I drive people crazy. I know all the people who work for me and work with me. Um, I know I drive you crazy. I get it. I get it. Okay. I own that. But but the, the point is, is that I make sure that when you're in your process, when you are in your comfort, your place of comfort, that I'm trying to understand it and accommodate it and not judge you because you're not creative the way I'm being creative. Absolutely. I think it's important that we... Um value the gift in the other yes so that I, we're sowing we're sowing what we want we want our gift to be valued we have to value the other person's gift that creative process is not my gift y'all that's not my gift um for me i literally walked into a store that had 400 paint selections countertop yep. selections marble selections, and said i want that one that one give me that sink over there and i left like 35 that, that's minutes. That's exactly what she that's did. That's exactly it how it works. Me, <laughs> it drove me bonkers. Like I, I'm saying, you didn't look at everything. How do you know? She says, it's going to look great. Watch. She says, and it looked great. She says, I'm a very decisive person. I'm a, I'm a decisive personality. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like saying, wait a minute. There's so many nuances. And I, I know because I'll pick out something and then I'll find something better or I'll adjust and change things. So, But I had to learn to not get upset with my wife and not try to form her into the way I would do it. Ooh, you Be said something. Because I was, because I, I, my way was right. I'm, I'm talking, I'm giving you more choices. How can more choices not be better than just one choice or two choices? Of course your way is right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, so, I, so in my mindset, in my heart, I'm convinced 
that of course it's, it's clear. Can't you see that many choices is better just than a few choices? No, no, for me, it's better. It's not necessarily better for her. And it would drive her crazy. She'll be in prison if you sat her in the store and made her sit there to try to look through all this stuff because that's not who she is. That's not the way she processes and manifests who she is. Right. And so I had to learn to do that, learn to accept that, learn to see into her and recognize what it was that she wants. And the same thing works in love. Like she has a different love language than me. And I'm going to do love language languages this year. Um, as we nice. go through, I'm That's going to talk fun. about love languages because I think it's very important. That's it's one of the very powerful things I think that's come out in the last 20 years, but mm -hmm. I know that what my wife's love language is. And so I th what's powerful about that is that I, I recognize I can't expect her to have the same response to actions, behaviors, and words because she has a different love language. Now there's other things that affect her other than her love language. But look, if I can tap into being least conscious of this and to get away from the fact that, that my way is right. See, that's what a lot of us has, have to do. And I'm going to talk, talk, talking to my audience. We really believe we're right. No, no, we're, we're absolutely convinced that we're right. only person that's more right than us than, is God. And you I, sure? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure right. Other than God, I'm right. And it's just a matter of time. If I talk to you enough, if I, and I used to do this with my wife and our young in our, our marriage, I would try to convince her that I was right. And if you could see it this way, if I could just talk to you long enough, and she was so patient with me. I, I, I look back on it, I'm like saying, oh my God, I can't believe that she, she was so patient through it. And I'm, I would spend literally hours trying to convince her that what I was seeing and what I was giving her was right. And it was. Well, it was right for you. For me. <laughs> that's, that's right. It, it was, was right. It was right. It was right for me. It was. It was right for me. Mm -hmm. So it's not a better. And, and this is what we do. We get into right and wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm right and you're wrong. No, I'm right from a perspective and you're right from a perspective. I have, I'm challenged. I have to change in some parts of a perspective and you have to change in some parts of perspective. Right. My change is no worse than your change. That's right. Although I can look at your change, I can see it clearly and I can judge it easy and I can tell you exactly how you need to change, but I struggle with identifying my change. You notice how hard it is to find out what's wrong. Ask somebody, what are you working on in your life? And you watch them kind of stretch their eyebrows and turn and twist. But before you do that, ask them, what the, and this is somebody close to them. What does so and so have to work on? Oh yeah, they 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 pushy. You know, they always trying to you know interrupt people. They're all they can li they can start going down a list without hesitation about what somebody else can do. That's what we do. We can point out what other people can do, can do or how other people need to change. But it's very hard for us to look at what we have to change and how we need to uh, adjust in our process. Yeah, that's a that's a tough saying for most people. Right. Um, change is it's not the same as an adventure anymore, <laughs> you know. But I do believe that it's um, it's necessary, and actually, it is an adventure because um, nobody makes movies about just you know everything being the same. <laughs> right. What's right. What's fun about that? I mean, we do need to look at ourselves and be able to change and actually love someone enough to willingly go to jail for them. Mm, say that. Say we some have more. to Ooh. love someone enough to willingly go to jail for them. Yes. So love someone enough, knowing that shopping is awful. <laughs> right. Right. But I love you, and I'm going to go. That's right. I'm going to go yeah. because I know it's important to you. That's right. And although this is not really my thing, my, my toes are not falling off. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm really going to be all right. I'm not going to have to go to the hospital. Look, let me, let me adjust. Not, why don't you just go do it? You go do your thing. I do my thing. So you've lost the principle. Mm -hmm. The principle is that there is some connection to what's important to that person and why they want you to be there. Now if they tell you they don't want you to be there. That's different. But if they're always asking you and saying, I need you for this, or I'd like you to participate in this, you put yourself in jail. Now, sometimes it becomes a blessing because my wife, 
was um she goes to this nail shop and i never want to go to the nail shop with them ex <laughs> except never for, okay. <laughs> except for i did find out man i just want to know all the men out there that may not have gone to uh you know nail shops <laughs> it's the best kept secret in the world the foot massage thing that that work they do on your feet that's the best kept secret that women have kept from men forever <laughs> let me tell you i now i like going to get my feet done I, I do make them give him the, the king treat with yeah, them. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But but this is this is what's so funny. But she, of course, they're there for more things than just their their feet. So I get my feet done and I show you how God will bless you. What happened? I went up one time and I said, okay, I'm just going to go with my wife. She didn't really even ask me or push me. She was all right if I didn't go. But I know that she likes me to be around sometimes. So I said, I'm going to go. And I went and I sat around i got my feet done and i went went up to the place and i found out right next door they had a cigar shop <laughs> so loves so, the place so, so look at god I, so i was able i was able to then <laughs> to, to then go ahead and let them get their stuff and she released me after i spent my time over there to go to the uh, cigar shop so look let me tell you 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 have a treasure that's in you and that treasure has so many things that are both for the people that are around you and for yourself. But God will not allow the power of that treasure to come forth until you give it to someone else. Mm -hmm. That you create, put yourself in pr prison. On pa purpose. Yeah, Paul said, <laughs> I become a bond servant. Mm -hmm. You know, do, do unto others. He didn't start with do unto yourself and then do unto. He said, no, do unto others. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about the treasure. We're going to talk a little bit more about this concept of you creating um, prisons or recognizing that some people are in prison when you have expectation and when your way yes. is imposed upon them. Although it's freedom to you, it's prison to them. Yes. But I want to hear from some of my Facebook family. Um, so, Greg, let me know uh, who's in. I know there should be a lot of array of conversation in to, at this point. Yeah, you got stuff stirred up, Al. <laughs> you got stuff stirred up. Nice. But, hey, we do have someone from California. Oh, who's this? Oh. It's Robin Braxton. Robin. We're going to welcome hey, Robin. Robin. Come on, everybody. I want the hearts. I need the, I need, I need the hearts and the thumbs up. Give Robin... Come on, y'all. I need some more. Ten seconds. Get, okay, well, okay. He says delay. I need a lot of hearts. Rob, what's her name again? Robin, Robin Braxton. Robin Braxton. Robin Braxton. I see my hearts coming up. Robin, I hope you see that. That's for you. So, Robin, what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that we uh, will we'll get your information. Um, or No, I tell you what. Call. This is what you need to do. Call 410-578-8003. Greg will will re repeat that again, and just leave us your your name and your address and your email, and we're gonna send you something special out. We're gonna send a package out for you for being our first acknowledged. Because I know other people from California, California. Yeah, acknowledged California, California, California on there, but our first acknowledged since I know the program, and then I want you to check it out. Make sure, Robin, that you listen to it, um, listen to the program at some point on iHeartRadio, um, hit gospel and then Heaven 600, and because you, now you know that we're on at, at 8.30 p.m. 5.30. At 5.30 p.m. <laughs> California time uh, every Tuesday evening. So I want you to give me feedback, Robin, and let me know <laughs> how it sounds, whether it's because, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm going to make sure iHeart got the sound going properly <laughs> over all the mountains and everything. No, I, I, I know. It should come, it, sh it should be a crystal clear sound, Robin. Thank you so much for being there. Who else? Uh, what's the kind of feedback we got, Greg? Uh, let's see. Let me, because Al, you were going for a while. Yeah, so yeah, I, was, so. I was tagging stuff so, so I, I, could, yeah, I can get and back. And don't miss to our it. new people because you missed a lot of new people last time. So, well, if they don't say nothing now, I can't. No, I'm yeah. saying that. I'm trying, I'm trying to tell people. So, pe so, 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 folks, if you're new here, please say something mm -hmm. so I don't get in trouble. I see, <laughs> please I see my say brother something. Wayne Lucas uh, Sr. on there. He says, yes. Thanks for your wisdom and knowledge. Uh, Counselors. Counselors. Yeah, so wherever you see a thumbs up, that's where I, I'm oh, okay. So Mike Kick. Oh, that's, nice. That sounds like a new name. Yeah, hey, Mike, how you doing? Yes. I appreciate you being with us. Thanks for joining the family. Hope you'll come back every week with us every Tuesday at 830. PM. And Bernard Carter is with us. Nice. Hey, Bernard. 
And he What's, says, so we need to be mindful that we don't settle. Now, I can't remember what you were saying exactly at that time. Right. <laughs> well, 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 part of part of settling from that perspective is that let's don't settle for mediocrity. Mm. Let's don't settle for just our way. Look, if you if you're comparing in a relationship, if you're always looking for what, you know, are they giving me what I need? Now, mm. that's not I'm not saying that's not important. And we'll talk. The, we'll talk about the balance. We'll talk more about that. But if that's your main point of reference, you've lost. Yeah. You have to settle on what is their need. Let me create the heaven for them. Let me create the utopia for them. And then you still may. I mean, if they, they never get to a place and I'm going to talk about this in a skill, how you do it in a skillful way, how you communicate your needs, because if your needs are not being met, it's appropriate for you to communicate Absolutely. your needs. But it comes from a different place if you start with this mindset. Right, right. Well, another thing Bernard said, he said, I love the energy in this show. Mm -hmm. oh, it's nice. Thank you, Bernard. He's got, he's got the double hearts there. You nice. see the double hearts there? I see there? the double hearts. Thank you, Bernard. Yes, yes. And Robin, she says, hi, everyone. She says, time is important. What is a split second for you is an eternity for others. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. I see a Leanne Wise. Leanne Rogers Wise. Yes. Hey, Leanne. How you doing? She's another. I right. think she's new. Right. Leanne, welcome. 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 Thank you for, for tuning in. Thank you for supporting and sharing us. That's Ayana that in the share. house. <laughs> Hi, Ayana. Hey, Ayana. It's been a while. Good. Hey, Ayana. How you doing? What yeah. you got to say? Ayana said, you may be right, but that's not what is a, it's about. Oh, we have to remember it. it's about relating to one another and building from there. Okay. okay. Absolutely. Yes, I love that. Thank you, Ayana. Absolutely. Um, let's see, Robin says, um, what well, she says, I am from California. It is a special love language. When we get to know each other, as mm. we understand the language of those we are with, yes. communication is the key to a long and happy life. That's right. And that's I all we that's talk right. about. That's all we talk about on the <laughs> show. Nadira said the purple toe. <laughs> <laughs> what about the purple toe? Because remember, you had the purple toe for the raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. She remember that. I, I, yeah, I should have had about five, 10 purple toes this year. I know. The Ravens is our is Baltimore's uh, NFL team, and we, we just missed the playoffs. We should have been in them, but... Purple toes. Um, I got to do my hands and my toes next time. Now, now Bernard also said he said good good luck at the nail salon, brother. He says he says give me a mask if I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> try, try. I'm telling you, Bernard. You better check check out the foot thing. You'll get hooked. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's see. I'm checking, and other than who's that, Je um, who, who's Jesse? Was, was that Jesse? James. James. Joe That's Bean. Joe Bean. Oh, oh, nice. James nice. Joe Bean Johnson. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> well, he, well, he says, he, this is a question, it looks like, uh, how do I handle if my wife gets upset with me and I don't call me um, on her break at work? I'm like, when she's not upset, she calls me. Okay. Mm. So I'm, I'm I just, just clarify that a little bit more. So, James, if you could just... Just say a little bit more about that, um, and um, I, I think I think I kind of understand what you're saying. And what I'll do is I'll take what you have, and maybe maybe I'll roll it into the example as we go forward, yeah. um, or I'll t I'll take it up the next time. So that's a good point that everybody can give questions. Yeah. If you get questions, if we don't answer it in this particular program, we'll be conscious to make sure we bring it back for the next time uh, on there. What what's going to be happening? And look, I didn't say this earlier. Um, both me and my wife are going to be doing additional, a shorter uh, video clips on giving you advice for relationship um, and, and other advice in your life. Um, I failed to mention that I'm doing my um, my financial your right. relationship with money, relationship with finances. And the only way that you can get um, the full series on that is to follow me. So you have to go on my Facebook page, Al Laws Jr., and follow me. And and trust me, you don't want to miss that series. That series is going to be powerful. But getting back to what I, what I was saying about the video clips, so both my, my wife and myself are going to be doing these video clips that we're going to put out various times during the week um, just to give additional. And it's short, so it's quicker. It's not as long as this program. I'm just always amazed at how every you know many people look at this program for 
the length of time that it's on, but these will be very short clips, five minutes or less, and okay. they will give you, uh, you know, bits of insight um, about all types of uh, relationship, relationships and relationships from, from a lot of perspectives. Um, so uh, I did talk about, again, those of you who had joined us, you can always listen to our past programs. You can either go on my website, Al Laws Jr., um, and, and go to my, uh, not my website, my um, Facebook page. And then you go, go to the we website, www.advice4life.us. Again, www.advice4life.us. And you have a, a, a whole array of programs. They will bless you. They will teach you. you will, uh, and, I, and I encourage people to listen to them over and over again. So um, back to what we were talking about. Um, and we were talking about being um, willing to go to jail because you love. Right, right. Go ahead. And um, how God turned your jail into heaven because there was a cigar shop. Next <laughs> right, door. right, 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> and then by that same token, it, it happened with me and football because I used to despise football. Right. And now I have several teams I love, not none, none as much as the Ravens. I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, th I believe that you have to be willing to um, go to prison. It's, th it's no different than what God um, hmm. requests from us. We find, and, um, we find him, he reveals his love to us, and we willingly become his bondservant. Hmm. He will not force himself upon us. We willingly become obedient to his desire, okay. willing to um, do his will. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So, so, so there's a dynamic that occurs, mm -hmm. and, and I want to talk a little bit about the dynamic, because if I have this treasure, and we have this treasure in our earthen vessels, inside ourselves, in our hearts, in our spirits, if we have this treasure... In these earthen vessels, he said that the surpassing greatness of the power may be of God yes. and not of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we are actually instruments to allow the treasures, the giftings, as you said earlier, that are in us to actually be displayed for other people. Absolutely. Our giftings are not for ourselves, people. I'm going to say that again. Our gifting is not primarily for ourselves. But sometimes we really believe that it's for us, but it's actually for others. Right. So if you go into the treasure and bring forth your gift and you give that gift to another person, there is a power that is emulated from that. There's a power that's developed from you giving of your gifting. Now, this is what makes it really tricky because you are very familiar with your gifting. You know um, the power of your gifting because you've seen it at work at different times. Mm -hmm. But you want the other person that you're giving your gift to to have the same gift that you have. <laughs> you got problems that they don't have the same gift that you have. And you judge them because they don't have the same gift. I think you were, you were using a, an example. You remember your example you gave before? I, 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 I use that example. I, I shared that. Yeah, you can't be upset because someone doesn't have the same. No, but you, yeah, no. But you're saying that you said if if I can, if I'm the person that can be a seer. Remember? Oh, yeah. Right. I said everybody has to bring their gifts to the table. Right. Because if I can see how a person is a character of a person, I can see. You I have discern, insight. You can discern. I have insight. Yes. yes. And you can't. I shouldn't be mad at you. Why can't you see that person? Why can't you see you can't trust that person? Right. That's my gift. Right, right. Your gift is different. Right. Your, di your gift is being a teacher, being able to teach others the character. Or encouraging people. Or encouraging people. Why, why would you be upset with me? Because I'm not encouraging. <laughs> right, right. So you, you know what's was... right. You know what's right. You're supposed to encourage people. That's what you, that's, yeah, God does say for you to encourage people. But that person may encourage in a different way. Absolutely. And it may not be their gift to and do that. And it's not going to look as bright as a person exactly. whose gifting is that way. Exactly. Uh, I can sing. But, you know, maybe maybe not like Jeremy. <laughs> That's not my gift. So I'm just saying that he, God gives us gifts, but he doesn't give us all the same gifts because then we wouldn't need each other. Why right. would I need you and why would you need me? Right. 
Right. We are, we are dependent upon each other. Absolutely. We are interdependent. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, you know, we have this treasure and we're supposed to give of this treasure to other folks and we have to get to a place where in giving up our gifting and people benefiting from it is our goal. Yes. And that we're not offended because they cannot reciprocate what my gift is. Now, this is deep. You got to hear what I'm saying. So if my gift is, let's say my gift is I, I listen very well. Mm-hmm. I've been given a gift to listen very well. Now, that's a very admirable trait. Who, who doesn't want somebody who is a good listener? It doesn't mean that everybody is gifted at listening. Listen, I'm not saying everybody shouldn't try to learn how to listen better. I'm not saying that people should not grow or learn or seek to listen better. Mm-hmm. But some people are more gifted at listening. Absolutely. The other person is more gifted at articulating their point or saying what's in their heart. They're more clear about what they want to say. Now, of course, with the the skills that people get from Advice for Life, it teaches you how to become better and more skilled at both articulating your 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 thoughts and feelings, but also in understanding and listening and showing understanding to other people's thoughts and feelings. But some people are going to be better at the articulation of the thoughts and feelings than others. And other people are going to be better at receiving and responding in a way of showing understanding because they have that natural inclination as part of their gifts. Absolutely. But what we'll do is because we do a particular thing, like somebody says, I, I, you know, I, uh, the, the, the husband's not expressing himself. You know, he don't express himself. We need to talk more. Well, listen, I agree with you. He does need to talk more. He does need to learn. learn. Send him to Advice for Life so he can learn how to share his thoughts and feelings in a way that's safe for him. But he, that's not his gift. So you can't, you can't pass judgment on it. You can't always, you have to learn how to be understanding and, sh- and nurture and help, commu- help bring about communication in ways that may be other than verbal. I'm not saying you stop the verbal. I'm not saying you, you don't encourage the verbal. I'm just saying there is some other ways that you can bring to the table because you may have a gift to be able to create that dynamic. Right. Right. Well, the gift, the gift is the creation, but the gift should never be identified as greater than the creator. Mm. And I think what happens with us when we, when we get these gifts and we are, Mm. um, we admonish them and we um we look to them as if they are god himself hmm. like it is god that i have this timeliness it is he gave it to <laughs> oh me oh my god but it's not greater than him Ooh. if that gift makes me mistreat his children his hmm. son if something. it makes me mistreat <laughs> because i have this gift, then it's better for me to give the gift back. Wow. It's better for me to turn my back on that gift mm. because I have lost the purpose. The purpose. The purpose. Because the gift is given to make to make certain that we all have a way to reveal the greatness of God. Yes. So now I see time as a gift given to me that God has brandished upon me like I had 48 years past. He's given me so much time. Praise God. Right, right. Praise right. God. I can I can talk about time, y'all, <laughs> and show you how that's God. <laughs> right. I can. Right. Because that's that's a gift that he's given me. But if it becomes greater than the creator himself, and I'm whooping y'all with it, right. then it's not all right. If your character, if your character and the manifestation of how you approach and deal with the people in your life, the people that you're, whether, whether you have a love relationship with somebody or just a colleague at work, you know, you may have a great point, but you've heard the expression, you know, you, you missed the forest from the trees. (laughs) (laughs) I I used to always understand what do you mean by missed the forest from the trees? And it's really kind of a, kind of like a funny because it's almost like, look, the trees are there, right? And all you see is the trees because you know that these are trees, but you missed the bigger point right. that there is a forest. There's a forest. There's a forest and there's something other in, in that forest other than just trees. So sometimes we get so focused 
on what we think is right in the way that we think it should be and our gifting being right because it, we have so much insight. It's a treasure. It's a gift. Right. And then we judge others and we respond to others out of that place. And I love how you said that, like, if your character doesn't manifest God, because he says we have this treasure in earthen vessels so that the surpassing greatness of the power may be of God. That's right. And not of ourselves. So then you start believing that because God has given you these giftings that somehow now, you know, you, you write, you write, you write, because now, you know, God's agreeing with you the whole time. He's shaking his head. Yeah. You always, you right, you right. And you go with this sense of rightness and God's saying, okay, well, I'm checking to see what's with, how do you distribute your treasure? What did you give it out yeah. first? And was that creator, was that creator larger? Right. Was creator bigger? Was the creator and the, and the, and the spirit that he wants you to manifest in the earth. Was that better? Mm -hmm. Was that greater than what you did? Um, the, the, were you going to say something? No. Oh, ex example is like, let's say this is practical example. So, you know, uh, uh, a man is saying about his, you know, girlfriend, you know, she's just so pushy, you know, and he going up to you, you know, you pushy, you know, you pushy, right? You always trying to push people to do stuff the way, you know, you pushy. So, he sees something in her, something the way it affects him, and the right. way it affects him it, is he experiences it as being it being pushy. Mm -hmm. And of course, as I told you earlier, we are very quick and it's very easy for us to go up to other people and tell them what they do. Right. And then we have that in our mind and it works in our mind and we, we finally just kind of break out and say it because we're trying to give them something about you know what they're doing now for him that's prison that pushiness is prison for him but from her standpoint as you as you clearly said that's freedom for her right she's just trying to get everything organized, organized and problem, encourage dude? you and try to get people to go to a different level and she's trying to make <laughs> things happen and so that's the way that that's expression of life for her right to push her way through to make it but she may not be as sensitive about how that may affect other people, mm -hmm. but I mean, that's the work that she may have to do, right. but his interpretation is not, Oh, I see that what you're really trying to do. Cause what he hasn't done is he hasn't tried to find the good, right? He hasn't tried to extract the preciousness from the worthlessness. So she might have like, you know, the reason why it seems all worthless to him, cause all he can register is the 20% that affects him. Right. And all the rest of it, you know, you we cast out the door. Like, what are you talking about? You need to deal with that pushiness. <laughs> That's why that metaphor, throwing the baby out with the bathwater, right. is absolutely perfect. Right. Because, I mean, if you are, have a mind for the temperature and you know the exact temperature to bathe the baby, then the temperature's wrong and you throw the baby out yeah. and the bathwater out and you get that temperature right, you missed the whole the purpose because the, the whole point was the to baby, bathe the, the baby. The baby rolling down the steps, <laughs> crying, child protective service coming after you. Cause you missed but the that baby. water's right. That water's right. <laughs> right. I got that water right. And so, yeah, so so mm -hmm. he, he, knows, you, you, he knows that he's right about the point, but he's missed the point. Because the point is, is that there's something bigger. There's a, a reason there's a heart behind why that pushiness is coming. Right. And you interpret it as it's something against you. Mm -hmm. It's not against you. Right. Now, it may affect you and you might feel something about it. So it's better for you to acknowledge your feelings and your thoughts about it. So I feel uncomfortable when some parts of that comes. I feel um, unheard. You know, I feel pushed upon. Or put upon when X, Y, and Z happens, you can do all that. And you certainly can say that to the person. You can give them a very concrete statement about your thoughts and about your feelings, right. which then helps them see that. But if you say it in a way that you think all, everything about what they're doing in their quote unquote pushiness is bad and evil and you got to get this straight because you get this straight that our relationship will be right. You missed it. Yeah. You missed the whole point. Uh, yeah, I believe that's absolutely right. I think we, we lose um, sight of our assignment sometimes. 
Right. Because um, when we're in a love relationship or even a, a child and a parent, a child relationship as well can be um, utilized here. Um, we, we lose sight of what we're here to do. Yes. Because if your gifting is revealed to me and it's uncomfortable to me, perhaps it's not my task to um, jab you with it. Right. Perhaps it's my task to help you maneuver it. Right. So it's it's not beating up someone, but yet encouraging and lifting them up. So you would have to extract the pressures from the worst. Extracting it. Abs- abs- absolutely. I think that's absolutely right. Yeah. You, you would have to have a mindset that wasn't so focused on that 20%. And making that the whole picture and extracting the preciousness and saying, yeah, well, there's a 20 percent we need to work on. But let me look at the intent because we're talking about looking at people's intentions. What were they trying to do? What are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to hurt you? You really believe that the person is if you believe a person is really trying to hurt you. Why are you with them? Like, don't be around people that you believe are really trying to hurt you. That's not what it really is. You have either been hurt before or you're interpreting Ooh. what the person is given. And so it's giving you pain. And now that pain, and I know how pain does, because pain makes you focus on yourself. Mm-hmm. Man, when I have pain, it's so hard for me to think about other people. I'm just thinking about my pain and how it's affecting me. And yes. I get that. But you have to get to a point in relationships where you now are allowing that 80 percent to be the picture you see. And you still may give your thoughts and feelings. You you may talk to them and say, we, you know, I really think that it's important for us to talk about um, when you are trying to give me something or you're trying to encourage right. me and push me forward. I want to talk about how that affects our, our relationship because I have some thoughts and feelings about it as opposed to you judging it making it the whole picture and then coming from that place of judgment as you communicate it to the other person. I believe the first thing that happens is offense, right? They get offended first and we, we ought not be so easily offended. Love does not get easy. We shouldn't be so easily offended, especially when we see the gift, when we know it's a gift then we can't be easily offended because someone's brandishing their gift around like a sword and we get cut a little bit. We right. know a lot sometimes a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ripped to shreds. Sorry. Um, then we, we shouldn't be so easily offended. Um, if we know the heart of the matter is their gift and right. them learning how to brandish it properly. Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, so we're, 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 we're coming down. We're, we're, we're rounding or, or uh, coming to a close here. Just to talking about, um, this whole concept of, you know, my freedom is another person's prison yeah. and that we have this gift um, that that's in us, this treasure that's in us um, as individuals, as human beings in this earth, that God has given us this this treasure and we have to learn the value and the power in that treasure. And the power really is displayed when we learn how to see and give first our, our gifting, give first um, in that exchange of gifting, um, but also how we see it, how we receive it. And so we're going to talk some more about that um, the next time we get together. Um, you, we're going to talk about it also in a dynamic that you're going to love, because next week we are going to have a group of couples that are part of nice. our marriage fellowship um, who are going to be coming together. And I, I love these folks because they've been through the, the ups and downs of relationship. They have a lot of wisdom. And so this is going to be another way for you to get this. So don't miss next week. We're going to have, you know, several couples who are going to be here. Um, we are still not sure how we're going to pull it off, but we're going to find a way to do it. We have some new technology that we're looking to implement that's going to help us do it. Um, because as you know, if you, you know, you do Facebook live on your iPad or your phone and you only, if you push it back far, too far, then you can't see the people. Oh, real good. Right. So that's why everybody does, you know, Facebook live. You always see it like up close. So to try to get, uh, you know, several couples in, you would have to move it way back. And so it'd be and yell hard. at them. Well, yeah, well, we, we'll we have microphones and everything, but, but the point of it is, is that the audience would not see it very well. So we got this new technology that we're going to try. Um, so, uh, just be patient with us again. We thank you guys for supporting. I'm going to go back. I'm going to get to Greg in a second to, uh, kind of review some of the wisdom that's come across, but remember yes. every Tuesday at 8 30 PM Eastern standard time and 5 30 
p.m. <laughs> um, a pus I'm going to say the Baltimore way. <laughs> Pacific time. <laughs> See, Baltimore people say specific for Pacific. Anyway, that's a, that's an East Coast thing. So, Greg, let me know what my folks have, have, have brought in and, and, and bring in this wisdom that's there. Angela shared, she says that we have to learn to respect, honor, value, and love each other's gift. Mm. We need to stir into flames each other's gift. Wow. Amen. Yes, absolutely. Tracy says we can't be mad at someone because they operate in their gifts and not your gift. Right. I know that, that's, that's right. the exact point, Tracy. You're right on. That's exactly the point. Abiba said, I agree. Respect another person's gift is fundamental to building relationships. Yeah, and I want to say to you is also you're going to hear that it's the fundamental for success in general in relationship and finances that you respect you know, and, and cherish and see the value that somebody was given to you to give you something that you don't have. Absolutely. Nadira reflected. She said, can't be greater than the creator. Wow. <laughs> I like that, Nadira. Powerful. <laughs> Immediately so put me year. in a re in a repentance posture. Wow. Nice. Can't be. I'm going I'm to use you, that. I'm going to use that, Nadira. I'm going to use that saying. Can't be greater than That's the creator. That's what I said, honey. She's, oh. she's reflecting on what I oh, said. See, I told you. <laughs> Powerful. She's powerful. After that, Angela said, yes, do not let your gift imprison you or become your curse. Wow. Wow. wow nice. That sounds like a meme. Yes. <laughs> Tracy. Wow. This is a long one. Tracy said one one time Abiba shared a story about a gifted choreographer who would en envision how a performance should happen. But he respected his dancers so much that he allowed them to display their gifts that. when they went on stage, even though it wasn't the way he believed it might look. If he did it, mm. he understood that their gifts would create something as beautiful or more beautiful than what he intended. Treasure others. Beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I yeah. love it. Any any new people come on since then? I see. Hey, um, Eric. Good to see you. Eric, Eric is in the house. Hi, Eric. <laughs> yes. And um, Delia's in the house. Carla, I see Carla. Hi, I see um, Andrea. Hey, Molly. <laughs> right. Hi, Molly. Nice. Carla's another one of those those faithful people. So, so look, um, we really appreciate your support and what you're doing. Remember, every Tuesday at 830, we're here. Yeah. Facebook Live here to teach you and give you relationship advice and insight. Remember um, that we are on Sunday uh, mornings at 9 a.m. on iHeartRadio. You just download the iHeartRadio app, select Gospel, and then Heaven 600, and we will stream live right to you. It's better than the radio, trust me. Remember going to the website, looking at pre previous programs, www.advice4life.us. Um, again, www.advice, the number four dot us. I want you to go on there, check it out. You'll be, um, there's other things on the website. I think you'll love it. And remember to follow me on Facebook, Al Laws Jr. And you will be getting some very powerful things as a, as a follower of me um, as we go forward. Look, I love you guys. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the thumbs up. You've been great. And we're looking forward to coming back to you next week. We're still yes. we're probably going to we're going to chime in from what we did this week, too. So you don't want to miss it. And we we love you. Remember, share, share is fair. And as I always tell you at the end of the show, it's in the socks, y'all. It's in the socks. Oh, Lord. It's in the, the matching. See the, did you see the match? It's in the socks. Love y'all. God bless. Bye. <laughs>